lines for... I'm ready! I'm ready, I'm ready! I forgot something, I forgot something! Now I'm really ready! Now I'm really ready! Woo! I'm so excited to go to Glove World! I better meet up with Patrick before he forgets what day it is. Or who I am. Come back after my alarm goes off! I'm on a tight beauty sleep schedule! I wouldn't bother going that way if I were you, SpongeBob. Big traffic jam blocking the road up ahead. What? Then how is everyone enjoying food at the Krusty Krab? They aren't. See for yourself. I'm stuck here with the owners of rivaling restaurants, the Chum Bucket and Krusty Krab. Seems like a perfect opportunity to start a documentary about Bikini Bottom's best restaurant. I, 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 I. Good idea. A movie about how delicious the Chum Bucket is would rake in millions. Hey, you know I meant the Krusty Krab. Nobody goes to the Chum Bucket unless it's to ask for directions away from it. Anyway, officials are still investigating where the nails that caused this chaotic collision came from. Maybe Mr. Krabs can help find the culprit. He did have a truck full of nails delivered the other day. He must know a lot about nails. <laughs> Rooster? In the mood for a little morning karate? Love to, but we'll have to put some padding on that one, Sandy. Patrick and I are about to have the best day ever at Glove World. Do you want to come? Thanks, but you ain't putting no glove on this squirrel. I'd rather seek the thrill of toning exercises and rubber duckies. But if you got a little time to spare, I could use your help hauling out some old junk from my yard. Anything for you, Sandy. I'm ready to haul. Y'all. Did I get smaller or did these TVs get bigger? Great job, SpongeBob! My yard's looking fine as fur on a frog! Thanks for your help, and have fun with Patrick! <laughs> ah, my beloved Bikini Bottom, the most perfectly perfect place in the entire universe. Home to my friends, and good morning, best friend. Are you ready for a lovely adventure? Not. Nah. What am I? I stayed up all night pretending I had hands. One, one hour later. Kids. <laughs> Hi. Nah. <sighs> I wish I could do cool things. This wagon just ominously appeared out of nowhere? Who cares? Uh, nah. Still not cool enough. Huh? <gasps> Can I have this? What, this old piece of. Magic and mystery. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Madame Cassandra, purveyor of long lost treasures of the Seven Seas. For those on a budget. Magic bubbled soap. Breathe life into your dreams. They say with this unique bubble maker thingy, you can become whoever you want to be. Receive whatever you want to have. Just bubble your wish into the heavens. 
Not that it ever worked for me. Woo! 47 seconds later. I wish. No. I wish. No. I wish. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, my first wish is on behalf of my very best friend who loves balloons. I wish for Patrick to have the biggest, balloonyest adventure of his life. <laughs> balloons! Is it too much to ask for just one day of peace and quiet? How am I supposed to paint my newest masterpiece with you two clowns constantly giggling in my ears? I wish that Squidward will finally be appreciated for his art. What are you two up to? Wait for it. I wish for the whole world to see how amazing Sandy is. Thanks, SpongeBob! Nifty Bubble! <laughs> <laughs> Three hours later. <gasps> SpongeBob, what does it mean when it says, Only those of innocent heart may harness the power of the mermaid tears? I guess it means I was destined to find this bubble soap. Hey, wait. It also says, Property of King Neptune, not for use by mortals. Use sparingly and with caution. Uh -oh. Patrick, what have we done? Who would have thought that a magic potion from a mysterious fortune teller in a sketchy wagon could backfire? Yes, it was utterly unforeseeable. Wait a second! Patrick, you're a balloon! Oh, I wish. If I were a balloon, I'd be able to do cool stuff like this! And this! And this! See, SpongeBob? Oh. I am a balloon! That's probably why I've been feeling so bloated lately. We need to find our friends and make sure they're all right! Good thing Squidward is such an even-tempered fella, or he might get upset about this. My rock! My beautiful giant rock! All that's left are my... Oh no! My giant sticky notes are gone too! Now how am I gonna remind myself to buy more giant sticky notes? Don't worry, Patrick. I'm sure those sticky notes are around here somewhere. Or there. Or over there. Pretty broken. Wait a minute. Maybe all this craziness is from one of Sandy's experiments gone wrong. I bet it's all her fault. I don't think so, Patrick. Sandy's experiments always leave the smell of acorns in the air. All I smell around here is <gasps> sponge breath and bubble soap. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. Bikini Bottom eat now! And without Mr. Krabs, who will help them unburden their wallets? I need to fix this! Take your wobbly hand off of me! I'm too smart to end like this! Oh! <laughs> 
Cellular idiots! Thanks to you, all of Bikini Bottom is sunk into chaos! My restaurant is tipped over, and our poor little spot is missing! You could have at least involved me. That's like, you know, my thing! Correct. Oh no! Sorry, Plankton. We'll make things right again. You have to fix this before someone besides me can take advantage of this chaos. Correct. Why are you repeating yourself? Is your hard drive skipping again? In. Correct. Yoo hoo! Over here, my little blunders. My adorable cuties! You survived this calamity. No, oh, Madam Cassandra! We were just having fun, but we accidentally used too much of your magic bubble soap and destroyed Bikini Bottom! And now all of our friends are gone, and there's jelly everywhere, and. 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 I miss my Gear Bear! <laughs> oh, this is just too perfect. That's not just any jelly, SpongeBob. It's cosmic jelly, the glue of reality. Your bubble extravaganza must have blown holes through the universe, squeezing the jelly out and sucking your friends into new and strange worlds. That was gonna be my first guess. You have to bring me as much of it as you can gather so I can study it and, um, help reverse the mess you've created. After all, I'm at least partially responsible giving you such a powerful potion by accident. Makes sense to me. Uh, no questions here. Excellent! Now jump into the portals that opened up all over town. I can use some of the jelly to tailor cosmic costumes for you, each linked to one portal. The more jelly you bring, the more portals we can pass. Are you ready? I'm ready! Come on, let's save Bikini Bottom from the unintended yet devastating consequences of our own actions. <laughs> <laughs> Find the portal that suits your costume. Once you have located your friends, you can use the magic bubble wand to return them home. Oh, boys! You must feel awful about this, huh? I look like some kind of pastoral cattle rancher. I wonder if there's a name for something like that. What about friends might be on the other side of this portal? Come on, Patrick. We have to rescue them. It's our friendship duty. feeling we're not Bikini Bottom anymore. Looks more like the Wild West. Oh, sorry, partner. I'm looking for my pal, Mr. Krabs. About yay high, red, likes money? Crab problem, eh? <laughs> I reckon you're gonna want to talk to the sheriff in Manta Fe. Phew, what a fun ride! Yeah, let's get lined and ride it. I don't get what Cassandra wants with this stuff. The only thing I make out of jelly is jelly sandwiches! Patrick, Cassandra knows what she's doing. If she says bringing her jelly will help get our friends back, then bring her jelly we shall.
Huh? Ah! What is it, SpongeBob? What do you see? Water? Soda? Is soda water? What do you see? Barnacles, it's so small! We'll never fit in there! Why do we have to be so big? No, it's not small, Patrick. It's not? It's just very, very far away. We're safe, Patrick! It's Mrs. Puff! If anyone knows where Mr. Krabs is, it's her! She probably doesn't know us here, even though she knows us back home. Here we have to get to know her first. Just like we got to know her the first time she got to know us back home, you know? No. Pursue that paraphernalia! luggage doing in the middle of the desert? I think it dropped from Mrs. Puff's carriage. experiences on this ranch before. Well, it's the Wild West for you. Whoa, is that Mrs. Puff? What's she doing on a ranch? Mm, I love Howdy, strangers. You came here by foot? That's awfully dangerous. You could dry out in a heartbeat. I get puffy just thinking about it. I get puffy after eating stale food. Hi, my name's SpongeBob, and this balloon is Patrick. We're looking for our friend, Mr. Krabs, but he might not be called Mr. Krabs. He could be traveling under a different name. Oh, like Jeremy. Or Petunia. Or Captain Claus. Or Ronaldo. A crab without a name, huh? Try Manta Fay. It's where everyone without something ends up. Could you give us a ride there? This is a riding school, not a taxi service. However, if you take my test, you could get there yourself with your own riding license. My very own license? Whenever you're ready, meet me by the seahorse. We'll see if you can stay on it all the way to Manta Fe. <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Puff, I mean, teacher lady, uh, I need to confess that, uh, I've been through this sort of thing before, and, uh, I'm not always the best test taker, so, uh, so, any chance we can skip this part? Oh, nonsense, SpongeBob. <laughs> A little rodeo never hurt anyone who survived it. <laughs> Ready, set... Five point seven points. Phew, that was a close one. Keep on smashing, Sticky sweet. Oh dear, you have six points. 
<laughs> Out of seven. <laughs> Only one point away from passing. Yay! Oh, could we repeat the test? It was so much fun. Oh, no, that's not necessary. I, I didn't know you had fun. Fun is worth an extra point. Here's your license. Thanks, partner. A license. SpongeBob! Hey, hold your horses. Oh, I don't think she can. This license only allows me to ride seahorses and seahorse-like animals, with the exception of... Uh, this doesn't say anything about boatmobiles. Well, once boatmobiles have been invented, I'll just have to take the test again. Yeehaw! We made it to Manta Bay, my floating friend. My butt is killing me from all that riding you had to do. Jeff might be at the saloon if you're still looking for them. I mean, it's the sheriff. Now look what the snail dragged in. You may be yellow as mustard, but you got the bite. Oh, don't bite. Too unsanitary. I'm looking for my friend, Mr. Krabs. Have you seen him? He's got big, beautiful eye stalks and tiny little legs. I'm off duty for the dole, sweetie. But hey, if you can take me, I might look into your case. Yo, in. Better get yourself a straw partner and make sure it sips straight. We're gonna have ourselves a nice little cactus soda showdown. There ain't a sea critter alive that can drink more soda than me. You're going down faster than a baby at nap time. Jelly bandits! made of. Grab your straw! Doggone it! We're out of cactus soda! Ever since this red-handed bandits bandits took over our cactus farms, we've been running low on supplies. Any chance you can go up to Captain Hills and fetch some more cactus juice for us? The sooner we can finish our duel, the sooner I can solve your crab case. Don't you worry, Sheriff. Deputy SpongeBob. And Balloon Deputy Patrick. Are on the case. They're not even pretty. They're just green, juicy, and thorny. L like a cucumber that hurts your mouth when you eat it. Don't worry, Patrick. We'll be out of here as soon as we find more cactus juice. Uh-oh. Looks like it wants to duel. Looking gentleman can point us in the right direction. Howdy, sir. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. Have we met before? Hey, cowboy. Uh, sorry, uh, you don't ring any bells. But I couldn't help but overhear you talking about entering the cactus beverage business. That demands a strong spine. I suggest hiring a consultant to guide you. For a wee share of, um, 70%? I'll tell you where to find the cacti with the most refreshing sap. 
folks pay insane amounts of money for them since the shortage. 70%? That sounds a bit fishy. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 70? I meant, um, 80, of course. Now we're talking. Just keep going till you reach them Cacteen Hills. And don't ye scam your hard-working consultant. I'm only taking 90% of the business. Come on, Patrick. Let's find those thorny cucumbers. Ooh, look! An old warning sign. It says, Cacteen Hills. Spines, deadly heat, bandits, and quicksand. Enjoy! This seems pretty dangerous, SpongeBob. Maybe there's a seahorse around here in need of a licensed rider. Oh, baby, that cactus is way up there, huh? A little dab will do ya. Funny meeting you here. Just, uh, checking on the barrels. You know, keeping them safe from bandits. There's juicy profit, I mean, uh, cacti, all around these parts. Now get! This is it, Patrick! That juicy cactus gold awaits us! Yee! <laughs> Another old warning sign. It reads, beware of bullworm? Why worry about a little worm? Sticky sweet! Ah, no more chafing. Don't live longer in the city. It just seems that way. Oh, 
gotta bring all this sap back to that guy who looks kind of familiar. A little dab will do ya. You got a knack for reaching them cacti. Just drop the juice in this here barrel for uh, <laughs> safekeeping. One barrel down. Follow that trail, my little saps. Things are better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. More chafing. Sticky sweet. The fancy crab pizza is the pizza for you and me. <laughs> than that, boy -o. <laughs> A little bad <dabble> <laughs>
such a hazardous environment. Is it just me, or is everything in this place trying to hurt us? We melt those cactuses for all they were worth! Sign or something. This old sign says, Turn back, mine closed, hungry bullworm. Seriously, this little worm sounds like a big problem. How old is this sign again? Looks like you've come a real long way. Be a shame if you screwed up now. Eh, uh, don't pay any attention to him. What can possibly go wrong? I think we've fallen down some kind of large, dark, worm-shaped cavern. That means it was probably made by a ferocious, terrifying creature, like a, a goose. I see, I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, take me toward it. Wait, no, I'm not ready. Okay, now I'm ready. I can't tell if we've gone this way yet. It's so dark. Howdy, strangelings. What brings you to this whole place? If you're after gold, get lost. It's all mine. We really, really need to get back to the surface, Mr. Miner, sir. Our friend Soda depends on it. Well, I could let you use my elevator. But what's in it for me? Anything you want. There's nothing that this amazing duo can't get. Good. That darn Alaskan bullworm is obsessed with my gold. Knocks my shiny tooth out. Bam! Just like that. If you can get my tooth, I can get you up to the surface. If I was a tooth on the loose in the nest of a giant worm, where would I be? Speaking as a slob who lives in a hole, I think something is living in this hole! 
Ew, it smells like Gary's litter box in here. That smell is not me. Oh, we've got the golden tooth! Hurry, let's get back to the monitor before something comes looking for it. A little dab <laughs> It. You'd be worm food by now. But since you survived, did you find my tooth? Do snails leave slime in the woods? Of course! Whatever you say. The elevator's all yours, boys. Oh, and I don't know what you did down there, but it left a powerful stink on you. All right, let's take that elevator. That should lift our spirits. <laughs> Two hours later. ourselves a train to catch. May I? Funny coincidence, huh? Bandits steal our train and Mr. Krabs happens to be on it. Hold on! Mr. Krabs is the red-handed bandit! We have to get closer so we can bring him home!
Joe's Locker, SpongeBob. I know you mean well, but you gotta let me stay. Please. You're under arrest, red-handed bandit. Like, like I was saying, SpongeBob, you gotta take me back. I beg you, this old soft shell won't last a day in jail. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm taking this one in. I sure should stop drinking so much cactus soda on the job. a valuable lesson. That it's not all about money? What? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. It's always about money. I, 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 but I did learn that I can't put a price on me employee of the month. I'm here to help, Mr. Krabs. We'll find Pearl and the Krusty Krab and bring them back on the double. That's a good lad. Now, off you go. I'm sure you can get around a little faster now with those new riding skills of yours. There are still a lot of friends to bring back home, Patrick. Let's ride! We should ask Cassandra where else we can find our friends. That lady knows everything! <laughs> She has this all planned out. SpongeBob, I need your help. Sheldon's pride would never allow him to ask, but your mischief tipped over the chum bucket, and we need you to stand it back up. We already built a meticulously calculated rig, but Sheldon didn't account for his own <clears throat> slight stature. Excuse me, there are more important things than knocked over trash cans. It's not a trash can, it's a bucket. And it's Bikini Bottom's sole restaurant. I know everyone would love to be eating out of a bucket right now, but the fate of the entire universe is currently hanging in the balance. No biggie, I'm sure the universe can hang in there until we've helped a friend in need. I don't get why this doesn't work. My calculations are flawless. Maybe we can help. I don't need your help. But if you want to make up for this whole mess, I guess I would allow you to assist me. Here, use this super velocitous momentum enhancer that I invented to get the job done. Ooh, is that a bubble surfboard? Yes, but I gave it a fancy name, so I get the credit. I've never been in here before, but since the Krusty Krab is gone, I guess I have no choice. Does this place offer anything edible? Technically, yes. We citizens of Bikini Bottom must stand together in these trying times. So, let it be known that the Chum Bucket will humbly accept its role as the town's sole source of sustenance. You fools! <laughs> Plankton, I always suspected that deep down you were a contributing member of society. And don't worry, Patrick and I won't stop until we put everything back to normal, so no one has to eat at the Chum Bucket ever again. Wait, was that last part really necessary? Oh my, yes. So much pure, unadulterated jelly, so much raw power. Two create your next costume. You should find it very familiar, but don't let appearances fool you. When you step through the next portal. Ooh, my karate gear. The most stylish outfit I own. Getting around will be much faster with these seahorses. We'll be much bumpier. These jelly things kind of look like something Squidward would make, right? Oh, yes. I think we call them... What was the word? Art. Well, I'm going to call them Samantha. 
But don't give up hope! SpongeBob and Patrick are on their way! Stretch limos. You gotta stretch first. You think Sandy came this way? She never struck me as a red carpet squirrel. But uh, what do I know? I have to admit, totally would have expected someone bigger for the part. But everyone seems small to me. <laughs> Sorry, am I oversharing? It's my first day, and I'm so nervous. Filming starts in one minute and 58 seconds. Uh, no, 57. Uh, script up. Uh, 54. Uh, just hurry up. Statistically speaking, the director's assistants only last 0.87 days before they're let go. I need to do better. Chop, chop. This way. He isn't the patient kind or the understanding kind or the kind kind. I can't believe this. Do I look bloated enough? I just had myself inflated. <laughs> hey, boy. Uh, hey, Mr. Uh, Mr. Sponge, this way. This? What are you still doing here? Please go to the exit or I will get fired. The director is waiting for you. Huh? How did you get here so fast? She must have cut the line, Patrick. Lucky. One big heavy jelly. As long as it stays in that cage, you'll be fine. Next to that guy. Oh, you mean that big mean looking guy that won't stop looking at us? Wait. Travel into the distant future! Unfashionably late, I see. Now get to your marks. The director is Squidward? He's got vision, SpongeBob. What squirt of an actor did those at the agency lay upon me? I promised them art, and how do they repay me? I demanded a hero, not a little yellow marshmallow. Did you shrink by spending too much time in a hot tub? <sighs> Hi, Mr. Director, sir. I'm SpongeBob. Filming starts at 9, uh, 8, uh, really soon. Can't those uncultured casting urchins comprehend that I am allowing them to be part of what is sure to be the greatest film sensation ever to hit the sea? But don't lose heart. I still have the talent to turn you into a tool of destructive beauty. Oh, goody! In this scene, you must fight your way through gang-infested city streets. 
In the and don't walk out of frame. And action! Indestructible magic, thanks to the jelly you're collecting for my, um, our cause. Cassandra, are you sure this is the right place to find Sandy? The portal brought you right where you're supposed to be. Don't resist the jellyverse. Instead, take it, store it, and bring it to me. Besides, the jelly whispered that you've done some commercial work. Don't your square pants long to be in the spotlight once more? You're right! If it means saving Sandy and the world, then I'll just have to act my square heart out. Thanks, Cassandra. We're so lucky to have Cassandra helping us. What a selfless lady. to see a wimp run around, I'd be directing Wimp Racer 2, like my agent told me to. This is a karate film! But I guess I have to work with what I've got. Let's start with something simple. A karate kick! Karate kick it! To really prove that you know how to embody a great hero of karate, I have prepared a little challenge for you. Across the roofs of the city. Now, kick down that door and get moving. I say we wah, kick things off.
sticky sweet. Feel even spongier than usual. There's a lot of paparazzi hiding on this set who wish to smear the director's reputation by capturing the fishy side of his process, which obviously doesn't exist. It would be real cool if you could distract them with some of your fancy moves. I will make myself extra picturesque. Thank <laughs> you. 
The security guard will let you pass now. I guess some guy dealt with the paparazzi. You can pass now. That's it! A real Karate King has to prove cat-like reflexes! I feel inspiration is about to strike! I found Grand Services! Those, um, volunteers in the box <laughs> will help you train your reflexes. When someone pretends to escape, whack them! Won't that hurt them? That's legally impossible. The contracts clearly state that they, quote, can't be harmed. <laughs> well, I guess that makes sense. But wait, Patrick didn't sign a contract. What, what? Oh, fine. Then don't whack him when he appears. It'll help test your, um, concentration. Now, let's go. We're burning valuable spotlight. And action. The karate kick the crew? Well, I hope I don't hurt him. Oh, look. Well, okay. Making movies sure is a weird process. You're not entirely useless, as long as you keep moving. Now head back onto the streets. The next screen test is about to start. Go! Your nemesis tried to rob a bank and left nothing but chaos. Innocent bystanders got stuck in the ground and need their hero. Believe it or not, that's you. Save them before the time runs out. And action! Some villain buried people under rubble! Who could have done this? It was a big sponge, Bob, I swear! I think that's me. I'll you for a second, buddy. Hmm. Looks like some kind of animal dug these holes. Hot nuts for winter? Get real, SpongeBob. believe you saved me. I mean, just look at you. That can must taste pretty good. Get me out of here! I gotta get home and watch Mermaid Man! Thank you! More I can kiss you! Uh, Help! Maybe some other time. Oh, yeah. Hey, thanks for saving me! Let's do this again sometime! Please help! I'm not hurt! I'm just bored!
to my genius, your performance has become tolerable. Now go ahead and strike some heroic karate poses for the press. method on me and disappear into your character. Remember why you're there. To get me more jelly. Uh, don't you mean to save Sandy? Right, of course. And also to save your squirrel friend. You want to convince my audience that you're the real Karate King? You have to be as fast as a leopard! Or was it a cheetah? Whatever. Hop into the red boat and chase down your nemesis! But I don't have a driver's license! Throw your squishy bottom on some vehicle you're allowed to drive and get on with it! <laughs> Seat. No slip pedals. Definitely has the cool factor. This is my ride, baby! I almost forgot to mention, all the danger is real, and we've taken no safety precautions to up the drama. And action!
Looks like we need to bang them in a specific order. Karate kick those guards! this film would be a train wreck, but the director went all out. Those jelly extras were very convincingly beating me up. Well, we thespians do take our jobs pretty seriously. And his choice for the villain? Wow! I just caught a glimpse. That's a wild animal if ever I've seen one. This Zen Garden is so... Live that, you talking cheese! You're not getting paid an exposure for chit-chat! If you want to convince my audience you're the real Karate King, you better show them some impressive acrobatics! Now, run across the roofs of the skyscraper to get into your nemesis fortress! Could I just use the elevator? No! And action! elevator was working. Well, it probably was working. But now it's not.
close to the dojo. You know what they say. Keep your friends close and your dojo's closer. <laughs> I don't get it. these cranes. Ooh, I'm thinking pasta? Sticky sweet. Well, if that ain't the sponge they call Bob, then his biggest Dallas Balloonatic partner Patrick's dead through my door. Actually, we came in through the roof. Is is that right? Well, you'll be leaving through the floor. Cause I'm in a mood. And my mood is crazy. Nobody mm -hmm. watches a film for the dialogue. My audience demands colors and motion converging into visual conflict. We need crash, boom, bang, not yap, yap, yap. Now throw out the stupid script. There's a script? And action! <laughs> Patrick 
managed to rewind their climactic karate Sponge clash Bob! with the Sponge power Bob! of cosmic Sponge Bob! Did that explosion give you a concussion? You remember to sign the waiver, right? I never thought you'd pull it off, but that was actually fantastic! I can already see the sequel. Nay, the trilogy. Let's start shooting immediately! Light, camera, sound! From the top, people! And... Sandy, but there's still a lot to make right again. See you around! I'm glad Sandy and her weird house came back, but I want my house back too! I hear you, pal. Ooh, I bet Cassandra will help. She's the most trustworthy but Bikini Bottom has never looked better. But it's covered in mysterious cosmic jelly stuff. Uh. I meant everything around that. Cassandra, please help! We have to find my house! Without that, I'm just a common talking sponge. Sorry, Spongy, I'm just a little preoccupied fixing the fabric of the entire universe that you blew apart! Cassandra, will you please help us fix my house? Sure, right after we fix your friends, your town, the cosmic order of everything. Oh, my beautiful home! And a delicious pineapple. Here. Why don't you take this cosmic costume and enter the portal? Yo ho! What be a pirate's favorite cheese? Oh, um, um. Oh, fingers crossed, my pineapple is still in one piece. world is pretty neat, but I hope none of our other friends got dragged here. Sticky sweet! Incoming pie! Who wants a pineapple? Pie? Meow! Incoming pie! Pineapple pie. Sticky sweet. Incoming pastries. We need to get off this beach, Patrick. Oh, but I'm just dying for a little pie. Not today, you're not. Come on, we'll hide in that weird cave. Scared with the haunting memory of me ghostly ghost. Oh, who am I kidding? I couldn't scare a baby right now. Without me ship, I'm just a pathetic ghost of my former self. Gosh, that's <sighs> terrible. What happened, Mr. Dutchman? That son of a Kelpier Admiral Prawn has stolen me beloved ship. Withered broccoli ahead. Never mind, it's just the flying Dutchman. 
He has my pineapple, too? That fruit-stealing freebooter is taking this too far. Mr. Dutchman, sir, you have to get your ship back so I can get my pineapple back. But prawns without all me precious socks. No pirate worth their salt would follow a sockless captain. And if I can't round up a crew, we won't stand a chance against the Admiral. You don't need socks to be a pirate. Why, Patrick here has never worn socks a day in his life. I don't even have feet. So, if you need a couple of loyal sea dogs, Patrick and I will gladly join your crew. Socks or no socks. <laughs> all right, all right, but first, ye scallywags, you must prove that ye are real pirate material. To show that you are worthy, you must unearth a real treasure. Uh huh. Uh huh. Earn yourselves fearsome pirate names. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And find army sucks! I still want them back. Aye, aye, Captain Dutchman, sir! Aye, aye, Captain Dutchman, sir! Uh-oh, I forgot to pack the sunscreen. Well, I guess I could use a tan. But what's sticky sweet? Gee, I hope nobody needs a lifeguard. <laughs> you can hope you it. My buns. Oh, yeah. Order up. <laughs> oh, I'm getting notes of rancid kelp. Getting notes of rented kelp. Little dabble, do ya? Wow! 
Wow, I can... Help! Oh my gosh! Real life pirate ships! I wanna... Hey you! Could you get rid of those jelly abominations? Little dabble, do ya? I'm always up for a sun bath, but if you could hurry, that would be great. SpongeBob? Patrick? You're here too? I thought it was just me and the anchovies. How did we get here? We can talk about that later. What's important right now is getting you and the anchovies and my pineapple back to Bikini Bottom. Say, where are the anchovies? That obnoxious shrimp rounded us up and made his jelly minions stick us to shipwrecks all over the lagoon. He said we're not pirate material. It isn't my fault I have a severe eye patch allergy. Don't lose heart, Larry. We're going to rescue every Bikini Bottomite who's stuck here. Or our names aren't SpongeBob and Patrick the... the pirate guys. That's not a very fearsome pirate name. Ah, uh, we're working on it. Thank you, SpongeBob. I'm going home to tan and pump. That swamp looks kind of eerie, like the kind of place you'd find pirate ghosts. Be free, little me. anchovy. Me. 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 Be free, little anchovy. Me. Jelly! Patrick, if you were a lamp, I'd give you a glowing review. <laughs> I'm rich. Me, me, me. 
Choke. Me, 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 more me, jelly. Me, 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 me. Little dabble, do ya? these abandoned ships, Patrick. Ooh, I'll bet if we dusted off these wrecks and hoisted his socks up their flagpoles, it would look like the Dutchman has a whole armada that everyone would know he's back. SpongeBob, that's a pretty good plan, but flagpoles don't have any feet. How are you gonna get the socks on them? Very carefully, Patrick. Let's go. Order up. Now let's find the others and become real pirates! All we are is socks in the wind!
Sorry, nothing personal. Ready to hang ten. Order up. Ooh, that's a big sand castle. Must be where the king of sand lives. Personal. Uh, I think he lost his pants. Order up! That should cover my buns. A little dab will do ya. I'm getting notes of rented kelp. A little dab will do ya. <laughs> oh, you Yo ho ho, young lad! This sure is your lucky day! I knew it! But why? I've asked ye! Before ye stand to notorious pirate captain Pinzarosa! I need some saps, I mean a crew, who can haul, I mean share, me treasure, I mean... Wait, no, yeah, I meant treasure that time. Oh boy, treasure! Right! Well, you seem deserving, and present. Now, to share me treasure, you'll first have to get it out of an old shipwreck. It ran off course and hit some rocks in the middle of the lagoon. Someone who was totally not me must have been holding the map upside down. Anyhow, I would get the treasure myself, but <laughs> I'm far too rich to do a crewman's work. Lucky day indeed, Patrick. With that treasure, we can prove we're real pirates. Technically, you won't be, though. I can't be bothered with the bureaucracy of registering a new crew. Or paying for them. Will we at least get real pirate names? Sure, why not? Then we're ready.
jelly. Sticky sweet. <laughs> it looks like a pretty mermaid is sunbathing. That's my favorite kind of bathing. Why so glum? Uh, because I like totally lost my joy, and without it I can't sing, which is like totally not cool for mermaids and stuff. Maybe it's in your fridge! Whenever I need joy, I can always find it in my fridge. The last time I had my joy was like when I was like dancing with my girlfriends, but they're not like here, and even if they like were, there's no music. But music is everywhere. All you need are some instruments in your hands and a little rhythm in your heart. SpongeBob, let's make some music. Then maybe we could go on a dance date? Sure, like as a friend. Uh, I promised myself I'd never date a balloon again. Also, I'm like way more into dating pirates now anyway. What about balloon pirates? Come on, Patrick. I'll bet we can find some stuff floating around that we can use as instruments. Then we can serve up some music. <laughs> I don't get it. me, even though this was, like, totally not your problem, to show my gratitude, I will grant you, like, a wish or whatever. I wish that SpongeBob and I could reach the treasure on the grounded ship so we could become, like, you know, like, like, totally date-worthy pirates. Like, have a safe flight, my melodic friends. Constant air travel seems a little unsafe. Well, it'll just be regular treasure when we find it. me timbers you're alive i mean welcome back you truly earned your pirate names from now on you shall call yourselves i don't know whatever you can think of hey you never said there'd be thinking involved i have a mermaid to impress so you better make good on your promise come about with that volume mere-headed lad before you alert the lagoon guard 
They're a ruthless bunch who'll stop at nothing to get their fins on me treasure. So, of course you'll be compensated for all your thinking with this beautifully crafted treasure chest. Contents not included. Wow, the chest is the best part. Anything you put in a treasure chest becomes treasure. I should let Gary sleep in there. Okay, fine. But I still want a cool pirate name. Sticky sweet! Look at me go! Swoosh! Pie in the sky! I've never seen a fish like this. Order up. Yeah. Come and go to get you. Not run forever, but I will certainly make you try. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I am going to run you ragged. Pineapple. Papua! Order up! Coming pie! Sticky sweet!
Sticky sweet! No more chafing. <laughs> No more. Let me show you how a real plan. These dusty old cannons still pack a punch. Tastes pretty good. Order up! <laughs> I am going to run you ragged! <gasps> Let me show you how to real. SpongeBob, thank Neptune. How did you get here? Eh, the usual. Magical bubbles, reckless wishing, tearing apart the very fabric of space and time. I won't bore you with the details. Just know that we are here to set things straight. Oh, good. These restraints are so tight, I can't feel my leg anymore. Uh, I think your leg will be okay, as long as you stay away from termites. My leg! I am going to run you ragged! Yet? Well, we do have a real treasure chest. The Dutchman Dutch sock, sock treasure. treasure! The finest pirate I ever knew went by Jeff. 
So you can be... Oh, I don't know. Square one! That's not fair! I wanted to be square one! Well, you can be... Square two? Sure! Whatever! Oh, Battle Shock! How I missed you! All right, you're part of me crew now. It'll be grueling, mind-numbing, and repetitive, just like cleaning a litter box. <laughs> Square one, use the wind bongos and flying boats to get yourselves onto me ship. Once on board, hoist me last sock and fire the huge cannon. That should signal me old crew to join us and revel in the destruction of... <laughs> The downfall of... Dismissal? The dismissal of Admiral Prawn! <laughs> Pie in the sky! He should call you the Crying Dutchman, for you are a little baby! To cover my buns. Order up. Ah! <laughs> ah! I get you. He should call you the Crying Dutchman, for you are a little baby! I'm feeling better already! Like I wanna be pilots! Kara Tukin! I'm coming to get you! Should cover my buns. We're taking back this ship, prawn, and my pineapple. What's the matter, rectangle boy? Pining for something special? <laughs> I will make you walk the plank. The only thing I will be walking is the road of friendship, and that road leads right to Victory Town, so bring it on. Who wants Dicky Sweet? We are very close to defeating Admiral Prawn. The Dutchman will be so happy, he probably won't even eat our souls. Ow, 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 ow. Eat heal. Coming at ya! Look at me go! A little dabble, do ya? Hiya! Ah! <laughs> ah! I get you! Ah! Crew, howl with me, that we might set the seven 
seas ablaze with fear. Ow! 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 No more chafing. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe! Catch a shrimp by the toe and crush him! Ahem. Fine! No crushing! Aw! Home sweet pineapple! Let's get you back to Bikini Bottom, huh? Next stop, 124 Cock Street! My beautiful home is back. Home sweet pineapple. But it isn't home without Gary. Patrick, we have to find him. What are you doing, Plankton? Get your charm off me buns! Sounds like Plankton and Mr. Krabs are getting along great. Uh, maybe I should check on him, just in case. Sticky sweet. If you weren't grilling those patties like an amateur has never cooked before, I wouldn't have to use my chum. Just follow my lead. If I was following your lead, me precious patties would taste like your disgusting chum. Mr. Krabs, what are you doing here? Are you working with Plankton? I had no choice. The poor citizens of Bikini Bottom were starving. I couldn't let him eat the garbage Plankton was serving. I'm right here. So we struck a deal. To feed those poor, hungry mouths. So long as they pay, of course. Well, if you don't hurry with those patties, crabs, nobody will be fed. Then you'll have to say goodbye to your sweet money. SpongeBob, you gotta help us. You're the only one I trust with me secret formula. Could you fix us some more Krabby Patties? I'm on it, Mr. Krabs. So Come on, going on What's the deal? Order. Food. And attention! Boyo, I know how you like playing dress up, so I've got a little reward for helping out your favorite employer.
What's going on? Where do I order? Go! I couldn't help but overhear you miss your little pet snail, Walter. Gary. Right, Gary. Well, with this cosmic costume, you should be able to enter the portal he was sucked into. But watch out, honey. That snail of yours is in big, big trouble. Woo, a pretty flower costume. We must be going to some gentle land of sunshine and kindness. Give up, Gare Bear! I'm coming for you! <laughs> Look at these creatures, Patrick! They're... they're... Funny? No! Scary! Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was gonna be my second guess. This whole place is frightening. It's cold, it's moist, and it smells like the dumpster behind the chum bucket. Well, that sure sounds a lot like this puddle of ooze you're standing in. Ew! It must be the remains of the victims of the monster that came through here. We have to hurry and find Gary. SpongeBob, just pretend that scary equals funny and play hide and seek with them. Great idea, and we'll win because they're not even seeking. before he shares that candy bar's fate. Shouldn't we help this candy find a warm and safe place? Too bad I left my candy bar bag in my candy bar bag carrying bag. I guess I have to put it in my mouth instead. Wait a, t wait a tide. Something about this ooze seems very... F mm, mm, mm. Calcium. With a faint trace of protein. And lots of love. That's not ooze, that's slime. Gary slime. That is a lot of slime for such a tiny snail. He must be so scared. We gotta find him. All we have to do is just follow the slime trail through the dark, scary, horrifying <laughs> city. Ooh, 
think it was crepes. I want mine with powdered sugar. Oh, you're thinking of crepes, Patrick. Crepes? Where? That awful slime left by that monster. What disgusting creature could do that? Excuse me, have you seen... I'm afraid I have not. I'm in the middle of crucial organizing business for the Snail Cup. If you want to enter the race, you need to pay the participation fee of five candy bars. There's only one way to get the amount of candy we need. Take it from babies? No, we go trick-or-treating. Oh, that works too, I guess. How can I help you, young fellows? Candy! Candy, 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 candy! Oh, of course, sweetie. Here, have a candy bar. Wow, vintage! Thanks! Trick or treat! I've been trying to find chocolate for three days. There's almost nothing left. Except for, well, I could tell you, but you have to promise to split the spoils. I'm all ears. Well, actually, I'm mostly cellulose, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, a weird and very heavy rock crashed behind my house. Right on my chocolate shed. Maybe you can move it. Here, let me open the gate for you. More chafing. Chocolate! Chocolate! Finally, chocolate! Well, if it weren't for Gary, I could go home and watch Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy reruns. You better have a good reason for being in trouble. Um, because we played with magic bubbles and tore into the fabric of reality, creating cosmic chaos that puts all of Bikini Bottom in danger? We said a good reason. Have you seen my snail? Tiny, cute, sweet, with very expressive eyelashes. If he's really sweet, then the monster probably took him. It ruined everyone's Halloween by stealing our sweets. The last time it was seen, it crawled down the racing track. I think the track probably leads all the way to its lair. There it feasts on innocent candy and pets. Poor Gary. Patrick, we need to find more candy to get on that racing track. Here, have one of my candy bars for the participation fee. Your awesome costume deserves it. Thanks. I got a rock. Sticky sweet. I can't understand your accent. Trick or treat. Oh, why didn't you say so? Here, have a candy bar. And nice costume, by the way. Thank you. The thing about a monster, it's got lifeless eyes. Black eyes, like a doll's eyes. 
more jelly. Uh, I think he lost his pants. Did you know everyone at my school says I'm the smartest, most talented, most coolest kid? Because they do. <laughs> I got a rock! Candy, candy, candy! The monsters all in our heads. Maybe we're the monsters. I know my upstairs neighbor is. Candy, candy, candy! Like this? Don't you know people have phobias? Sorry, I didn't know my costume was that scary. What are you afraid of? Boxes, man, boxes. You never know what'll be inside or where they'll take you. And then it's too late. And you look just like one. All square-like. Sometimes boxes have good things in them, like Krabby Patties. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. Here's some candy. Thank you. Balloons? Don't you know people have phobias? That's all the candy we need. Now we can give it all away to Mrs. Puff. Well, do we? Do we have to? I feel like Mr. Krabs. I'm flying! You again. Did you bring the participation fee candy? With nuts! Fancy. Now keep still. This is going to hurt. Wait, what? It's a snail race. You have to be a snail and fast. Go! Meow, meow, meow. Meow. <laughs> mush, sponge snail, mush!
Oh, you survived. Uh, I mean, you won the race. <laughs> Congratulations. Now go bother the other kids. Patrick? I thought I was Patrick. No, I'm SpongeBob, you're Patrick. Oh. Maybe we should turn on some lights and make sure. I'll... SpongeBob, it's too dark here. Do something. These tables are glowing. Maybe they feel pretty. Sandy. The name's Candy, with a C as hard as the toffee in Grandma's candy dish. Thank you for bringing the power back. We're looking for my pet snail, Gary. He got lost, probably kidnapped by a monster. Uh, have you seen him? Haven't seen your pet around, I'm afraid. But that monster, they say its lair is in the museum. It's dangerous, but it might be your best chance of finding your little critter. Sounds reasonable. We should ask this monster if it's seen Gary. Patrick, I don't think monsters can talk. You know what? My little monster theater has been reset. 
You mind giving me a hand with putting it back in order? If you do, I'll open the way to the museum for you, so you can go look for that monster and your friend. I don't like it, but if there's a chance Gary is with this monster, we have no other choice. Oh, poor Gary. Let's get this theater fixed. before there's an audience arriving. Can't have a scary show with this jolly balloon bobbing about. Oh, look at these gallons of slime, Patrick. Gary must be terrified, poor thing. Maybe it's not all Gary's slime. Maybe the monster caught a whole bunch of snails. More sweet babies in danger? Oh, say it isn't so. The slime trail leads to that big bouncy thing over there. Then we should clearly bounce on it. You know, to follow the trail. Ooh, more jelly. Wow, this slide leads to a whole museum? Gary is so learned. Sweet! A little dabble, do ya? Drivers ever got their learner's permits? The museum! It's up ahead! Look at all those snails the monster kidnapped! Look! It's Gary! So how do we save Gary without that monster snail seeing us? Gary is the monster snail! Huh? They grow up so fast, don't they? 
These massive amounts of candy bars must have given him a sugar rush. We can't take him back home like this. We have to cut off his candy supply first. Already on it, buddy. <laughs> Chafing. <laughs> Gary's gonna bring that whole museum down. We have to get him out of here before we're all buried in the rubble. But Gary is still giant. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll go back to normal once we get him home. I sure hope you're right, Patrick. I've never been wrong about anything yet. For once in my life, I think I might have been wrong. I feel like someone's controlling me. Whoa. Yeah, I know that things are getting back to normal, but <laughs> that wasn't saying much for this town. Great! Now my whole rock is covered in snail slime. I just had it cleaned when I moved in, too. I know it's a very challenging situation, but could you stop yammering? I'm trying to concentrate! Uh, that was sheer luck. <clears throat> uh, speaking of which, good news! I found that squiddy neighbor of yours. Just to give me more jelly and your new cosmic costume will get you to him. Uh. 
Maybe I'll just stay here and nap under my rock. Oh, sorry, Patrick. Balloons and heavy rocks don't go well together. Besides, we have to save Squidward. Fine. Well, Squidward owes me a nap when we find him. Ah, I look like I'm from the Stone Age. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like some idiot who lives under a rock. Yeah, I know that things are getting back to normal, but <laughs> that wasn't saying much for this town. Hold tight, Squidward. Your two favorite people in the world are coming to rescue you. Manaka! Spushigo! No plapa? Bongo, bongo. Escape the bonga, bonga. Thank <laughs> you. 
Tamaga, work acquaintances. Mm -hmm.
did me to Bunga. Ag, ag. No god, my laga palenga. Unga, not coral sponge car. Uh oh. Ah, 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 ah,
With two morons? No! <laughs> On the jokey! Uh, Squidward, I don't know if you've noticed, but I want you to hear it from me first. Uh, you're still talking like a cave squid. Ham, Gaga. Hmm. Looks like Squidward's vocabulary is stuck between the cosmic rifts. Madam Cassandra will help us get it back. <laughs> My favorite sponge lackey has returned. With lots of jelly, I hope. Aye, aye, Cassandra. But can you use it to restore Squidward's vocabulary? It kind of got lost in all the cosmic chaos. This precious jelly is not to be wasted on the minor inconveniences of a bald sea critter. This is about the big, the really big, the biggest picture! My once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for world dominant I mean saving. Saving the world. Mm-hmm. Well, if you can't help Squidward, I gotta find someone who can. Someone who has a way with words. Someone with a vast vocabulary. But who? Oh, how about Gary? That's a great idea! Gary's a well-read master of linguistic finesse, and he definitely has a book or two that'll help Squidward. Let's check out his library right away. Yeah, plus he knows how to say meow. Oh, boy. Well, when you finish that, here's a new cosmic costume for your next jelly run. Tis I, Sir Squarepants, ready to rescue another companion! Huzzah! Oh, boy. I always get hungry when we go to a library. Don't you remember what happened last time, Patrick? The no food and drink sign is there for a reason. The food on the sign is what always makes me hungry. Phew, that was heavy. That should do the trick, Patrick. Let's go back to Squidward. This book will help you find the right words again, Squidward. After all, it helped Gary to learn all those fancy expressions he uses.
our missing friends are still okay, it's up to us to bring them back. This is what space looks like. Ooh. Ooh, these clouds are so fluffy. And they float just like me. SpongeBob and home. Ooh, more jelly. into thine princess's window. Fear not, my Whaley. It is Sir SpongeBob of Bikini Bottom, here to rescue you with his loyal squire, Patrick. Square Patrick? I thought you were the square one. Unless, have I been SpongeBob all along? Stop it, your childish shenanigans! Oh, forget it. Listen, SpongeBob, I'm about to throw the most coral slumber party the sea has ever seen. There's going to be cake and a band and popular girls from all corners of the realm. And they're all coming to celebrate their love for me, the princess. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. This rescue mm. might take a little longer than I was expecting, Patrick. You should call me SpongeBob. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Bye. <gasps> What a huge rock! Looks more like a castle to me. Well, whatever it is, I'd sure like to live under it. No more chafing. That's a long way down. Uh, hey, maybe you should try being a balloon too, SpongeBob. A little dabble do ya. up here. Don't blow away.
That garden sure is pretty from up here. Yeah. And a lot less confusing, too. You're right. It would be a pain in the barnacles to drop down there again. Sticky sweepy. I think there's a way through now. That should cover my butt. Barnacles, we broke the bubble wand. How are we gonna get home now and save Pearl? No problem. We can fix it easy peasy. All you gotta do is find all the pieces, lick them, stick them back together. Cassandra won't even notice. Patrick, that's brilliant. Let's hope it works on magic bubble wands. Oh, it will. Just like when I broke, uh, fixed your TV. And your bookshelf. And Gary's food bowl. Oh, yeah, I licked your refrigerator back together. Oh, I shouldn't have to explain how it came apart in the first place. It's probably good. your kitchen sink with a little licking stick. That faucet was leaky for months. That's sticky sweet. hi -ya! I ripped your windows back together once, too. Oh, that hurt. But you never know I smashed it with a hammer. I just remembered, I also licked your fireplace back together. That was spicy. Looks like that should be open now. Sticky sweet. Castle? This part is confusing. Great idea! Now where's the next part of the castle?
Where doth you think you are going? There are options? I want to go to Finland! Only those who come bearing invitations may enter. And even then, there's no boys allowed. Unless they're in the band. Are you in the band? Tragically, my duties robbeth the princess of the elevating experience that are my melodies. I am forced to cast other, more mediocre talents and tell sea urchins like yourself to get out of here. Maybe this is the entrance to the castle. We should come back with all the bubble wand pieces and a compass. Order up! Look, Patrick, I think there's some animal trapped in this cage. Oh boy, oh boy, maybe it's a giraffe! We should probably free it from its cage, whatever it is. the key to our success. <laughs> the princess's animal is so majestic. I hope they let it out soon. one soon. My buns? This one soon.
my buns? That's all the keys! Now we can go free the animal! Look, Patrick. Have you ever seen such a majestic Ooh. creature? The colorful mane, the sparkly <laughs> eyes, and that... piece of bubble wand in its mouth! Quick! We have to catch it! Don't let the unicorn get away! It's too pretty! Ooh, more jelly! Wait, unicorn! Come back! Come back! Follow the unicorn! Wow, it is really fast! That old house looks like it belongs to a witch. Maybe the unicorn is hiding behind it. Good girl, you are, you are! Salutations, Yellow Knight! Isn't she a good girl? I'm Twitchy the Witchy! And what brings you to my cabin in the woods? Greetings, Miss Witchy. I'm Sir SpongeBob. <laughs> my balloon buddy Patrick and I followed your, uh, handsome pet because it took something of ours. Could you maybe convince it to give it back? <laughs> Sorry, but if Rainbow finds it, I keep it. However, I might trade it for some of that miraculous Wrinkly's Pro Aging Cream my coven has been buzzing about. They say it can wrinkle your skin enough to make you look twice your age! You got it, Twitchy! One batch of Wrinkly's Pro Aging Cream coming right up! How hard can it be to pick up some cosmetics? It can only be found in the most dangerous part of the woods, along the banks of the rushing river of Neanderson. There should be some left from the last shipment the baby-faced bandits raided. Fill up this bucket and I may trade you for it. You got it! Sticky sweet! Gee, that river looks so scenic. I could just swim in it. I probably couldn't swim out of it, though. I uh, took it! The 
to cut my bonds. For you and me! before those bandits come back. She's gonna be so excited when she sees how ugly this'll make her. Oh, you're still alive? Good for ye. The last few heroes I sent out for cream never returned. The wrinkling has begun. Good job, you two. Now beat it. Oh, thank you, ma'am. But first, we have a wand to repair. <laughs> Hand me that thing so I can fix it and you can leave me alone. Mm -hmm. Amateurs. Now get lost. Ooh. What a pro. Uh-huh. I could have licked that just as good as her. I don't care. I'm gonna do it anyway. My buns? Ooh, more jelly! Hear ye, hear ye. With the most excellent slumber party of all time almost upon us, the Princess of Wales calls on the kingdom's bards to heed her casting, uh, call. There is space yet for two poets who can earn the approval of her royal party planners. 
uh, unforgiving eardrums. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Patrick? Definitely! But where are we going to find a school bus full of mayonnaise on such short notice? What? No, I meant we should try out for the band so we can get into the castle and save Pearl. Oh, yeah. That's what I meant, too. A I can't wait for the auditions to start. I like to boo from the shadows. Another bard, another migraine. But what doesn't one sacrifice for the crown? One's talent, one's pride, one's eardrums. But our royal blowhole decreed that not one of her subjects is to be turned away. Because everybody's got a talent. Ah, thou have until I fall asleep of thine mediocrity to earn my admiration. Amazeth me. Regretfully, the yellow sponge and his annoying balloon shall be royal bards at the princess's most excellent slumber party. The audience seemed to like their, uh, music. And besides, I have already rejected all the other contestants. Thou may enter the castle. Don't screw it up. <laughs> chafing. What if one of these beds is better than mine? I'll have to sleep on all of them to find out. Well, you think they'd at least tidy up around here for such a momentous occasion? Hey, you know what? 
should cover my buns. Come on, Something's wrong. Yeah, she looks like a real sad sack. That should cover my buns. You? As if I'm a princess, you royal doofus. That would be totally uncoral. Gosh, Pearl, I mean, Princess Pearl, I'm sorry. Don't worry, Patrick and I will serve the epic cake. Let them eat cake. This cake is fragile. We have to be careful. <laughs> Order up! Oh, shrimp! This cake is fragile! We have to be careful! Enjoy! I think you two need a little break from the dance floor! Your cake, good sir. Yeah. Uh, order up. Order up. Hold it right there, soft shoe. Enjoy. Personal. I, this buffet is all you can beat. Not a good cake, good sir. What? This buffet is all you can beat. Not a Enjoy. Slocus! Got that token! 
Ah, oh, this little guy comes with a thrill! Hold it right there, soft shoe! This buffet is all you can beat! Ah. Throw a ball without quick! This cake is fragile! We have to be careful! Bon appetit! Focus, focus, now you're slow, kiss. Hold it right there, soft shoe. This cake is fragile. We have to be careful. Bon appetit! Hold it right there, Shop Two. Water up! I think you two need a little break from the dance floor. SpongeBob, you did it. My slumber party was a success after all. Now let's get out of here. Maybe I can still make it to the sale of the mall. Yeah, the mall. That's absolutely still there. Probably. Uh, now then, I'll just use the magic bubble wand to whisk us away. This music is terrible. Thankfully, a true bard is here now. Let the real festivity begin. Fish paste. Best party ever! I could totally hug you right now, but I don't want to pop you. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. I'm not a balloon. You can still hug me. <sighs> okay, I guess you've earned it. Ah! We did it, Patrick. Everyone is safely back in Bikini Bottom. Now we just need to find the Krusty Krab so I can go to work tomorrow. Well, I wish I could go to work. This day off has been exhausting. Just don't tell any of the popular kids at school that I hugged you. Now I have to go find my dad to make sure he's okay. With driving me to the mall. They're having a sale on princess dresses. <laughs> Later! I almost have all the sweet, sweet jelly I need to fix your little mishap. But watch out, my darling. Your next journey will take you to a place where fun and fear have become one and the same. You'll have to go back to the amusement park called Glove World. Yay! We'll see about that. Your costume is almost complete. But to get you into Glove World, it's missing one more ingredient. The breath of a pufferfish. Maybe Mrs. Puff knows where we can get the breath of a pufferfish. After all, she is a teacher. This glove hat can only mean one thing. You can finally shake hands with your whole head now. I think he lost his pants. Besides SpongeBob, help! Don't 
Don't worry, Mrs. Puff. We'll get you back down. Someone left melted cheese all over the ground! Patrick, I think that's hot lava. Well, I lava me some cheese. Ah, this no town more has chafing. really changed. There they are. <laughs> this lava is making my forehead cry. This town has really changed, man. I most certainly won't. Oh, please, 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 please. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Good luck, SpongeBob. Don't mess this up. Don't worry, Mrs. Puff. We have this under control. Mrs. Puff sure must have fun doing this all the time. <laughs> Am I right, Patrick? Agent Poor Bearer calling for best friend support. Over. Pa Patrick. Game over. First, I lost Bikini Bottom, and now I've lost my best friend. Loser. <laughs> no, I can't lose as long as I keep trying. I'm gonna find Patrick, and together we will bring Bikini Bottom back to normal. Welcome to Cloud World. I'm your host, Clammy Ghost, uh, and I just glow having guests in my park. <laughs> Patrick. Enjoy your ride on the safest, slowest, and least painful roller coaster in Glove World. Ha, ha, ha. Whoa, you showed a lot of heart. Next! Me, you Oh, you got five fingers and a new best friend. Oh, 
if only Patrick were here, we'd ride all the rides together and eat heaps of ice cream. But without him, I'd just end up heartburned. Pants, you've made it this far. You have to keep going. You can't turn your back on your best friend. After all, you have to talk to yourself when he's not around. SpongeBob let his best friend go because he only cares about himself. Maybe there's something useful in all this junk. drops. Hang in there, Patrick. I'm coming for you. Nothing can stop me now.
Crusty Crab! It is here! Oh, if I'm this excited, I can only imagine how Squidward is gonna feel! <laughs> Ahem! It's not what it looks like! He forces me to take best friend's pictures! Oh, don't worry, buddy! Help has arrived! your biggest fan of the whole world! Could you please, please, please give me a thumbs up? And anything for a fan. Well, in that case, how about letting Patrick go? Mm, no. Ever since you threw Bikini Bottom into outer cosmic chaos, all visitors have vanished from this once beautiful oasis of fun. And with them, their adoration for me! Do you know what becomes of a glove without love? I'm gonna go with... G? <laughs> Stop smothering him! It's time I realized even the best glove can be cold. I won't let that happen to you, Glovey Glove. <laughs> Hold on, Patrick! I'm coming! Show that glove who's boss, SpongeBob! You must be this tall to say it this way. That looks like a reef blower. Ooh, more jelly! you glovey glove, but you leave me no choice. It's just hard to see your childhood heroes hit rock bottom. Don't worry, Patrick. I have something with me that can cheer up our friend. A Squidward action figure? Even better! You have a world of friends! You're right. I have a world of friends. They all adore my fixed smile and my haunting blank stare. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
I always knew you'd come for me, SpongeBob. I will never leave you out of my sight ever again, Patrick. You're my best friend ever. Don't worry, Glovey Glove. I'll get Bikini Bottom back to normal and get lots of visitors back into Glove World to love you just like we do. SpongeBob? You toxic yellow polluter! We've gotten reports from multiple sources with the same megalomaniacal voice that you are responsible for all this trash around the Krusty Krab and the Chum Bucket. You either pick it up or you pick jail! Whoa! I don't know where all this trash came from, but I do love to pick things up! Plus, it'll give me a chance to work with Bikini Bottom's finest, the Garbage Men! Sign me up! <laughs> around here. Time to take this trash where it belongs. We sure did a lot today. Well, it's been fun. See you later. Wait, Patrick. Shouldn't we bring the rest of the jelly to Cassandra so she can fix all this chaos? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess I can squeeze that in. SpongeBob SquarePants, this time you took things too far. Well, well, well. His royal hiney finally decided to show up. This snail oil saleswoman broke into my royal bath time chamber and stole my bubble soap. She never posed any real danger until your can-do attitude enabled her. Do you have any idea how much power she'll wield once she has enough jelly? I am now the queen of the ocean, and with the power of the cosmic jelly, I will reshape the seas according to my wishes. <laughs> SpongeBob, I have tolerated your annoying little slip-ups for years now, but I have had it. Because of you, I have been kidnapped, I had to relearn to speak, and my toilet is clogged with jelly. Enough is enough. You know what? It's not that bad. I'll just get the plunger. You're going nowhere, my delicious little rage muffin. You have the perfect attitude to be my new pet. My wishes may have shaken up the world, but Cassandra's the one who's gone out of control. It's time to stop it for good and save our friends once and for all. And look really cool while we do it. Patrick, look over there, SpongeBob. Woke up on the wrong side of the rock. Oh. 
Bikini Bottom deserves nothing less than destruction. Oh, they're gonna ruin everything if we don't stop them. Squidward is extra grumpy today. Word. I'm so glad you're back to normal. Yeah. What happened? And why does my mouth taste like jelly? I have to hand it to you, SpongeBob. Your quirky approach did what the Royal Guard failed to do. You apprehended Madame Cassandra. Of course, you also empowered her to nearly destroy us all. But that's jelly under the bridge now. <laughs> As a reward for your outstanding bravery, I shall grant you one final wish, so make it count. After today, there's only one thing I can wish for, and that is... That was fun! I wish we could do it all over again! Perfect! No! 